unique evening, which is uh, a very special uh, evening, also in partnership with London Pride. And uh, we'll have, after this lovely documentary, Q&A. Please be, remain seated, and we have plenty of wine and focaccia to celebrate everything. I think the strong message within this movie is that the, the strength of family and friends and community, regardless of where you're from. So it regards what the government says to you or me or them. It's the strength of community and family which binds everyone together. We're celebrating two people, man or woman, whatever, but it was two people, and that's what it was, which was a great message to me. What I liked to tell is that it's the community of people who move around to Ingrid and Lorenza, other than their story. There's a strong wheel taking you somewhere where you can imagine a different family, not just uh, your blood family, you know? I mean, there's a possibility, I think, in this movie to imagine um, something else, something more than this, an extended family. So not, I'm not talking about the LGBT world, but female in general. They felt relief because it was like um, an example of uh, two women that, that chose for themselves. Now it wasn't, there was no imposition from the society or they invented a new way of staying together. It's very difficult in Italy to show the, the, this kind of mov movies in a school because uh, for the parents especially and uh, for the teacher that, that uh, is not uh, uh, ready to I don't know why. I think in general in a democratic country that believes in equality, uh, regardless of sexuality, gender identity, race and religion, uh, public schools should just uh, go along and, uh, and teach these kind of messages, regardless uh, of how conservative the parents can be. Uh, if the society is a democratic society that supports uh, and, and believe in equality of all the, its citizens, then that's what is supposed to be taught in schools. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't have public uh, democratic schools. Yes.